Good morning, you guys. What's up? It's Margo, and I'm home. I'm playing hooky from school this week. I am home this week in order to attend Fashion Week, which is so beyond exciting. And I guess I'll just kind of explain a little bit this morning, although I could go on and on. But if I keep looking down, it's because I have a very fluffy roux on my lap. So I'm really excited to do today's vlog. I'm just gonna bring you guys with me into the city. I'm actually staying overnight. I think I'm gonna break up these vlogs into two days each, or maybe if I have enough footage, I'll just do four separate vlogs. I'm going in four days. And every day is gonna be so different and so fun. Today is the only day that I'm not having a designer dress me, which I will explain eventually. I know that there's so many different parts that people probably have so many questions about, but truth be told, I'm right there with you. This is my first fashion week I've attended. And I think deep down, I'm a little anxious about it, um, just because I really don't know like protocol and the best ways to get around and what to do in between shows. And a lot of these I'm just going to by myself. So we'll see how all of this plays out, but I'm really excited. I. I don't even know what my schedule is today. So I'm either, it's 8.30 a.m. right now. I'm either going into the city at 9.30 or at 11 because I'm still waiting on an email from my um, events person at my management who's helping me figure out some of the timing for this stuff. It's really crazy doing scheduling for fashion week because all of these invites are coming in in one week and some of them overlap so you have to decide some of them are in different parts of the cities. So you have to figure out if you're gonna have enough time. We're gonna figure all this out together because I really don't know. Um, but yeah, as I said, today is the only day that I'm kind of dressing myself. And it was a whole family effort last night figuring out what I was gonna wear, but I'm really excited about it. I got a spray tan yesterday, so I'm gonna shower that off. And then I don't know if I should start getting ready yet because I don't know if I'm going in in an hour or not. I will bring you guys along. I'm gonna go upstairs and shower and then I will update you guys. So it is um, 8.50 and I just got the yes that I should be going in early. So, I have about 20 minutes to eat breakfast, do makeup, pack everything. So basically I am staying overnight with my friend Esty to celebrate her birthday. She's having a bunch of people over. I think we're staying at the Conrad Hotel, which is perfect because it's downtown. Close to everything I'm doing. So last night I packed an overnight bag, but that also means I need stuff for tomorrow. So I have some stuff for tomorrow. My actual outfit, a dress, I need to pick up. So I have to figure out when I'm gonna do that in Midtown, craziness. And then here's stuff that I'm laying out just to put in my bag for the day. I think I'm literally just gonna bring a tote bag. Okay, I'm being very irresponsible with my time and showing you me doing my makeup, but I just put like literally a few dabs of this around my face. I'm doing like super minimal makeup because the first thing that I'm going to, I can now confirm, is the E-Style Lounge, which is really cool. I have no idea what to expect. So first I'm going to the East style lounge. They have some beauty touch-ups. Um, I don't really know what that's gonna be, but I feel like they're just a good company to kind of associate myself with or like make some connections there. A lot of this I see as like professional networking. So um, that's kind of how I'm going into a lot of these events. After that, I'm meeting with this girl named Ellie. She's a photographer that just reached out to me on DM, but I checked out her page and she has some really cool New York shots. After that, I'm going to 
a Rebecca Minkoff presentation. No idea what to expect for that. And then after that, I am going to this runway show and then meeting my friend. Okay, last thing would be mascara, but I'm going to wait until I am on the train to do that. And I'm also going to bring some lipstick. I can't wait for you guys to see this final outfit. It's so fun. I'm just leaving the e Street, e Spring Street studio. I did a little hair and makeup touch up, which actually works perfectly because right now I'm headed to meet Ellie, the photographer. This camera is so frustrating because it's always so dark and I don't know how to change it. So I'm gonna use her getting them in Sephora and then we'll start shooting. What's up guys? I told you I was gonna get my camera uh, fixed oh, and fixed Ellie it. pulled through. We got it. She fixed <laughs> it. And I'm with Bailey. Hi. And we're in the West Village. This is like my favorite part of the city and we're getting some shots. We are. So yeah, I'm gonna give Bailey my vlog camera for <laughs> a few shots. You can see some behind the scenes yes. action. A little leaves me to cry. Um, I have a little hack for you guys. We're on the top of Restoration Hardware, which I actually showed you guys in a vlog, but it's really good for shooting. You just go to the top floor and just come out. You don't have to have reservations or anything, but the view is so insane and it's sunny. So I think we're gonna shoot some pictures up here when we have the sun. <laughs> um, okay, we just finished up. Did you? How's your coffee? It was very good, honestly. Good, good. Go to Starbucks Reserve. Yeah, it's very good. It's good, but you do have to kind of snag a seat. It's not easy to get a seat. Totally. Okay, so I'm gonna say my goodbyes yes! now. But it was so nice to meet you. Yeah. I'll definitely hit you up when I'm in the city. Yes, for we'll sure. Shoot hang again. Wait, let me get a picture of y'all from memory. Okay. Bailey. <laughs> I'm gonna see you guys when I'm walking to Rebecca Minkoff.
that presentation was great. I'm gonna try to remember to tell you guys about the trends that I'm seeing because Ami Song does that and I love it. Um, There's lots of florals, but they were pairing florals with things that you wouldn't normally pair traditionally. So there was a lot of graphics, there was some leather, but mostly florals, all different colors. And she did kind of a color scale. So it started in yellow and moved to blue, but they did pair a lot of leather with florals, a lot of scarves. Um, and then even when they did just do plain white, they added a lot of scarves and accessories to that. Um, and boots with dresses. And of course they had the Rebecca Minkoff bags, which were beautiful. So yeah, I really like that. And I feel like it's actually pretty wearable. I'm headed to the Custo Barcelona show right now. I think I'm gonna be a few minutes late, but it's fine because I'm pretty sure I'm in a, like a box situation. I'm not really sure, but basically, when you're going to these shows, they give you a little barcode and then you scan it. I got from E an invitation for Brock and I'm gonna take Esty for her birthday. But basically after this show, which obviously I'll bring you guys to, I think this is gonna be a lot of like really bold designs and fun colors. But after this, I'm gonna head to the Conrad, which is where we're staying tonight and just get cozy before Esty comes, but I think she's on her way now. And then get dressed for the night. up with you guys since the Custo Barcelona show. Oh my god. Um, quick recap. Um, <laughs> I'm so honored to have gone there and it was a really cool experience but not exactly my taste which is what's fun about fashion week because you get to see all different kinds of styles but it was definitely more like streetwear, a little bit grungy but they had some glitter in there the models were so beautiful i got some food i just picked up some food realized i didn't have a fork for the salad so i got a spork <laughs> at a pizza place which makes even less sense and then i just checked into Esty's hotel room i want to keep it really nice and clean for her so she sees it the way that it is but it's so beautiful it's at the conrad um, and I'm so grateful that she got this. It's so nice and it's also literally just a couple of blocks away from the show that we're going to together tomorrow. So that'll be really fun. So yeah, I'm gonna just kind of like chillax a little bit, go through pictures and post stuff on my story. If you missed it while it's up on my story, I made a highlight for fashion week so it'll be easy. But today was really fun. I had so much fun shooting. Um, I'm really happy it was less like nerve wracking than I don't know what I was expecting, but I was, I don't know. There's always like a few little awkward moments, but overall it was such a great day and I met really cool people, saw some friends of mine. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna chill out and I will see you guys whenever it's getting here. What's up guys? I have friends now. Hi. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Ari. <laughs> <laughs> Filing my nails. Uh-huh. And there's S, the hey guys. birthday girl. Nice to see you again. It's been a while. So we're touching up. Okay, so I already have my makeup on, so I just need to do like touch-ups. But if you guys already have like a day makeup on, what are three products that you use to like transition tonight? Or For like retouch day, that you like need? 
Usually I would put eyeliner on or like a darker eyeshadow because I think that makes it a night, more night look. Lipstick, more bronzer. <laughs> primer. <laughs> I think primer, like Sorry. if your face isn't like clean, like you don't feel good by the end of the day, you definitely need more primer. So put it on over it, what you're already wearing? Wait, what kind of cynical person are you? What no, you no, mean? no, I, I get what you're saying, but would you like... Would you take off all your makeup, then put primer on, then put foundation on again, or like put it over? I mean, <laughs> am, am I supposed to say that I? No, 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 I'm, no, no, I would, I'm. Curious. I absolutely would redo it. I'm just a person that, okay. like, if I don't, if like, if you go to the day and you feel dirty, like, you I can't gotta do that. It. Yeah, yeah. and uh, an eyebrow filler, like guinea brow, that's yeah. my favorite. Just like eyebrows looking good. Oh <laughs> my god! I'm sorry. Wait, introduce yourself. Oh hey. <laughs> What's up? I'm Dexter. <laughs> uh, do you want to plug? You're plug so yourself? You're so cute. Hey, I'm Dexter. And? And I make music. And, and you can I, find him? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter Spotify. and Facebook and Spotify as Dexter. Do you have any songs coming out soon? <sighs> no, not yet. Well, you yes, just had soon. one You just out. had a song I just had Answer to Love come out. You can check that out on so Spotify. Good. Give him a listen. So good. Good. Continue. Oh, eyebrow filler. Eyebrow filler. And then the like third. Concealer. Concealer. That's it. Okay. See you in a bit. Where are we going to dinner? Serafina. Really yeah. good. Italian. So good. <laughs> we're all <laughs> ready. Okay, so we're not going to Serafina anymore because our plans just plans. didn't work. So we're ordering Bear Burger. I'm very excited, and we're gonna go to my friend Ellie's house and just have a good time. It sounds so insane. Life hack: When it's your birthday, don't have set plans and don't yeah. stress. Just make sure that you're surrounded by people that you care about. Because so true. I don't even care if we eat like McDonald's. I just want to be with my yeah, girls. I feel like there's always so much pressure on like birthdays and events and stuff that it just makes it worse. Yeah, so if you go it. into it like. You've been a good champ with changing plans. I mean, I, I was also show, really late. I want to show what we're wearing. Where's the dress from? Um, the dress is Ari's. Apparently, it's French. Mm -hmm. And the boots are from Jeffrey Campbell. They're a staple. They have like a, a little heel, so it's comfy. Mm -hmm. And then, ooh, sorry. Okay. My jacket is from Ritzia. I love it. This is thrifted for $3 in Syracuse. Wow. I swear my favorite clothes are from. Is it real silk? Uh, wow. no, I don't think so. Well, I don't know. It might be, honestly. Very versatile. And then pants. We have the same ones from Tiger Mist. Mm -hmm. There's a little zipper. And then just my businesswoman shoes. <laughs> Ta-ta. Ta-ta for now.